these difficulties, they're all opportunities for you guys to get better, to improve, to become more powerful. And the stuff you guys do right now in your teen years, this is the stuff you're gonna take forward your whole life. You guys have heard of Mark Spitz, the guy who Michael Phelps broke all his records, right? So my grandmother used to swim at the club in Sacramento with him. When I was a kid, she'd tell us stories about this family, the Spitz family, and how they were just crazy about getting their kid to, to the Olympics, and they took him to every coach, and, and they made him get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and do his workouts, and then again in the afternoon. My grandma used to tell me Mark hated his dad for it. And by the time he was 14, he wanted to quit, and he resented it. And he was getting just disgusted by the whole swimming thing. Then, of course, we all know the rest of the story. He goes on to win seven gold medals. And guess who he's on the podium with the seventh gold medal thanking profusely? Mom and dad, especially dad, who's kind of a slave driver. Now, here's the thing that mom and dad and coaches have that you guys don't so much. Long-term perspective, bigger ways of looking at things, right? This is the one thing. I have two teens, too. I have a 13 and a 17-year-old. And this is the kind of thing that adults can give you, and you're just going to have to trust them on some of this. Use your smarts, but this is where going into these difficult situations is really going to benefit you and getting that guidance to help you through. You want to look at everything as an opportunity to grow, all right? So basically, you want to throw yourself into challenges. Walk around on the planet going, bring it on. Bring it on. These are just chemicals. All this fear, embarrassment, disappointment, failure. They're just chemicals in my own body. 